Hello and welcome to this video where I'll be showcasing the terrain brush, a brush pack I created for ZBrush. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna start by doing a simple terrain in ZBrush. And uh, for this, I usually start with a base mesh, like a plane, mostly. And uh, this one has a low density of polygons, so let's subdivide it to something like this, maybe, yes. And let's give it a bit of a shape basic shape we'll be using maybe we create like a, a mountain ridge with some valleys here to the side Maybe let's go in and trim. Let's trim this uh, a bit. Where is it? Trim dynamic. Go ahead and give it a bit more of a, some hard edges. Let's move it down here so we have this more interesting shape where it's kind of straight here and a little concave here okay and I think we can go and apply some brushes let's blur this area here okay that looks fine and yeah I think let's start just working on this on this little concave area here we're gonna load in some brushes. I have three types of brushes: valleys, peaks, and slope details. And since we have already have a slope here, I'm just gonna apply some slope details. This one, let's check it out. You can see it creates a really erosion feeling. It's higher intensity. Still, I still think we need to adjust the shape a bit. Not too much. Yeah, something like this looks fine. And uh, yeah, let's try some other brushes too. This one maybe. This one has some nice terracing going on. Let's have a higher intensity too. Yeah, something like this looks nice. And uh, what other brushes do we have? Let's try out this one. This one has a really sharp, straight uh, channel. I really like that sometimes. But uh, not on this slope here. I see it's uh it's really easy to work with a lot of brushes, you have more choices. This one maybe it could work. It has these kind of terraces as also this part here has. So it's gonna create some kind of uh yeah it's gonna be uh, gonna look a bit more natural if we have terraces on all this ridge here. Yeah, I think this looks fine. And um, lower here in the valley, we could use uh, maybe something like this. As you can see, this brush here has a has like a little valley in the middle, and so it's, it's quite nice to use. Uh, here in the bottom most of the times you can see this looks quite realistic all the sediment flow down here and it get washed away from the stream and now let's work on this top part here you go we are gonna still use some no maybe we can use uh, one of the peak brushes up here something like this maybe to kind of 
yeah, accentuate a little bit, maybe not this much. But like this, you can see it creates this nice feeling, which can be adjusted with the move brush. Yeah, and I think we have some other good peaks that could work in this situation. Maybe this one. Yeah, you can see with the straight line it really matches up with the shape, but it needs some adjustments. And uh, this one also has a straight line, so it matches up too. And you can see now over here we have a really cool profile with some little hills and peaks. But this profile here got a bit messed up, so let's get that back to where we want it. Okay, and let's add some detail to the rest. For this, maybe we can try a valley, but I'm not sure it's gonna work on this part here. I think more of a erosion details, but we can try. Oh. Okay, let's just put a valley down here, like this. And let's put some erosion details on the side. This one, yeah, this one is gonna work. And let's also try that channel that we saw previously, like this. And here's some little more details. Maybe a very harsh one. This maybe. This one is very rocky, but it's good to have some rocky parts of the terrain as well. There you go. This one was re very easy to create, a couple of minutes. Let's get the valley shape right. Something like this. And now uh, you can import this into whatever you're using for the terrains. And what you can also do is maybe grab the the alpha from the mesh up to 2K resolution in, inside of ZBrush, but uh, you can also bake it with X normal onto another plane. You can zoom in. You can also kind of reframe it if you want to map to be a bit different but yeah from straight from the top looks best most of the times so like this we have our alpha we can export it okay I hope you enjoyed this video you learned something and I hope you're gonna enjoy my brush pack too